Hey, this is Mr. Monkey. I'm going to talk a little bit more about relationships. You know, Kevin Samuels talked about women with kids and no high-earning man with want a woman with kids. I have to disagree. Okay, here's the deal breaker. When you meet a woman with kids, are the children or her kids respectful? Okay, you go visit her and if they look at you up and down, like, who in the hell are you? Like they ready to kick your ass? Or if you go over there and they speak and shake your hand. They've been raised properly. That's the big difference with women that have raised their children properly. Now, I don't mind if a woman has children if they've been raised right. That's the key. They have had to have been raised right. When... You're sitting there with their mother and they come in from school. The way I was raised, when you come in, you speak. You don't just walk past people like that. You don't see them. I'm old school. You speak. How you doing? Okay. Nice to see you again, Mr. Monkey. Okay. You know, all of those things make a difference. It's nothing wrong with a woman for me to have children. But again, it depends uh, uh, on the woman and the relationship with the children's father. Where they stand now, the way I would go at it, if me and her decided to get into something serious, I want to talk to the father. I know some people, well, you ain't got nothing to talk to him about. Yes, you do. You around this man's children. Matter of fact, I want to sit down and have lunch with the brother. I'll pay for it. Let's talk as men. See, we've been dragged into all this social media beefing and all oh, that motherfucker shouldn't tell your kids what to do. But a real man need to sit down and get to know the man that's going to be around his children. Talk about it. Let them know where you at. Understand now, are you completely over the woman that I'm spending time with. I want to know everything because I'm investing my heart and time. I do addition in relationship. See? It's, it's about addition. I'm not going to do subtraction. I'm not going to get with the woman that's going to subtract from my mental peace and serenity. And if you don't get to know what you're getting into, they can subtract. See, I'm into getting to know a woman that can add to what I already have. And what I have is my peace and serenity is more valuable than gold. Now, I'll let a woman add to that, but I'm not going to allow a woman to subtract from my peace of mind. And that's what we got to get to, men and women. Ladies, if you meet a man with children... What's wrong with you and y'all starting to live together on that level to meet the children's mother? Sit down like ladies, not on no ratchet shit, trying to kick her ass or she mad at you. Sit down. Talk. If you can. Be the bigger person. You around this woman's children. Of course she gonna feel funny about that. Now, sometimes you done got a man that was married when you met him and you were sneaking around with him, of course, that woman's going to have animosity towards you because you was messing with her husband. It ain't going to never be right. She's never going to respect you if that's how you met her husband. But now if you met him after they got divorced, that's different. I'm talking straight up with y'all today about different things that y'all ain't used to hearing the monkey talk about you know um, get with these people sit down and talk meet their parents do it right meet their parents the first time I would meet a woman's parents I'm insisting on meeting their parents she might not bring it up but if we living together I need to, or we plan on living together. I need to meet your parents because, first of all, apples don't fall 
far from the tree. Now, if I go meet her parents and it's chaotic and a bunch of cussing and screaming and all that, I need to take a look at the whole picture of maybe if she was raised with these kind of people, her mindset is going to be a certain way. If y'all understand that, meet the parents. Meet the brother and sister. Meet her family, period. Meet his family, ladies. Meet his family. Talk to him. Get to know him before you make a big, big commitment. Meet him. After you pass the friendship stage in the relationship. I know I said six months, but if you can make it 90 days with that person without being sexually involved is a lot. You'll see, it'll pay off in the long run. And I don't know where y'all are spiritually, but relationships have to have spiritual guidance. You don't have to go to church for that. But as long as you know it's a power greater than you and the woman or man that you plan on being with, that's in control of everything. A family that prays together, stays together. What's wrong with y'all getting on y'all knees in the morning and praying for each other? Pray that they have a good day. Pray that they make it home. You don't have to go to church for that. That's just common sense to me when you love somebody. Another thing, when you love somebody and you bringing them in your life, that means you should be done with all that foolishness out there. You should be done with all them women and sleeping around ladies with different men. Have that out the way if that's what you were used to. Yeah, when you meet the right person and y'all really ready to make a serious move together. What's wrong with sharing passcodes? <coughs> Excuse me. What's wrong with putting all your cards on the table? Now, when you're dating, you don't want to give up all your passcodes because you don't know if it's going to make it to a serious level. But if it makes it to a serious level, and y'all living together, pass on everything because you should love that man or woman in your life. You should be willing to get down on one knee sooner or later and propose to that woman in front of the world. Now, if it ain't that kind of love you got for that woman, it ain't real. See, for me, when I meet the woman that God picked for me, I'll be willing to get down on one knee in front of the world and let everybody know I love this woman. And that's who I choose to spend my life with. If they don't make you feel like that, maybe you ain't got the right one. This Mr. Monkey today, I'm talking. But I'll be back to talk to y'all later again about relationships. Learn. I'm still learning. Every day I learn something about me, not the other person. I learn more about me. All right. Have a good day.